Hello everybody and welcome back to the world of Warcraft. This is episode number 7 in our Druid Dragonflight series. And it has been almost 6 months since I've played this character. Can you believe it? <laughs> I can't. Um, I apologize that I've been away for so long, but we are back. And I'm, uh, I'm actually really looking forward to playing this character again, guys. Uh, last episode, we finished every single quest in Darkshore. And we're currently in Lord Uh, the, which is the new city that the Night Elves were forced to create after they were pushed away from Aberdeen. And, uh, we're ready to take our next steps. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as you guys can see, uh, we don't have any more quests to do. Uh, we finished every single chapter, six out of six, and we're ready to move on. And really, I'm not really sure where we're going yet, to be quite honest with you guys. Uh, but there are a few things that I wanted to do in the when we ended the last episode. Uh, one of those things is we wanted to head to Stormwind. We wanted to grab Chromy Time and set it to Cataclysm so we could do a majority of the zones because as you guys can see uh, if we look around like all of the zones are pretty much like 15 to 30 so in order to increase that we need to go grab uh, Chromy Time so that's gonna be the first thing we do this episode um, and we might test out a dungeon Qu haven't quite decided if we're gonna do that this episode or not and um, we need to put some things on the auction house as well. So we need to make a trip to Stormwind. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. But before we head out, um, I just real quickly want to talk about what we learned in this zone. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. So when we started in Darkshore, we quickly learned that the town of Aberdeen had been completely destroyed during the Cataclysm. The remaining survivors had fled nearby and started anew in the town of Lord Anel, and they needed our help to save Darkshore from falling. Our first order of business was to deal with Zen Falhoof, who we had met in the starting zone actually. Apparently he had brought his shenanigans over here and was corrupting the wildlife, so we took care of him. We then headed north, where we met Lieutenant Mora Starbreeze and assisted her forces to defeat the Shatterspear tribe. After doing that, we met Malfurion Stormrage at a giant tornado in southern Darkshore. We learned that he needed our help to destroy the elements that were terrorizing the zone. We also learned that it was the Twilight's Hammer Cultists that were responsible for riling them up in the first place, so we took them out too in the end. Storyline wise, it was alright, but I was mostly impressed with the geography of the zone as there were just a few times we had to stop and look around because some stuff was just so awesome to look at. But anyway, let's get back to it. Alright guys, so we made it to Root Theron Village over here in Darnassus. Um, we're going to go ahead and take this portal, it looks like, to Stormwind. There used to be a boat, but uh, it looks like they just put portals instead of the boats. I'm not sure why they did that, but I guess it's, it's more convenient. <laughs> um, we're going to go into Stormwind and we're going to put some things on the auction house. Something I did off camera was I... Is this the right way? Yeah. Um, something I did off camera was I uh, respect Feral. Um, I decided that Feral was going to be what we're going to stick with, I think, for now. Uh, I feel like I like it better than Balance. I can't seem to figure out Balance. Um, and it's just not as fun, in my personal opinion. I've also got some feedback from some of you that it's just not as satisfying and enjoyable to watch. So, I'm going to go ahead and listen to you guys on that one. Alright, the auction house is right here in retail. I always forget that. And it looks, looks like we got a bunch of Briarthorn, some Swift Thistle, a bunch of linen cloth, some wool cloth. I'm gonna just gonna try and put everything on there. Um, and it looks looks like the auction house setup is super easy now. That's pretty cool. I'll throw that on there. 
It's basically like they they uh, built the auctionator add-on into the game, which is actually pretty nice. I like that. Makes it pretty easy just to throw everything up there. Let's see if any of this actually sells. I'll be really surprised. Oh, it's got to be repaired. I guess we can just vendor all the rest of the stuff. We'll keep our potions for now. I guess we can sell those if we're not actually going to be leveling our professions. I don't know. I haven't I haven't decided yet. We kind of fell behind on it, so we might just do it when we're 60. All right. What was the other thing we're going to do? Oh, chromy time. All right. Looks like we made it to the location of Chromie. Looks like she's just right up here. Let's give her a chat real quick. Um, recommended select a timeline. Um, we're gonna go ahead and choose Cataclysm. Who would have thought someone named Deathwing would bring about so much destruction? There are people across Azeroth that could use your help. They come from different walks of life, but are all working towards finding their place on this beautiful world. Examine the hero's call board and see where your adventure awaits. I guess we could do that to kind of make our decision. We can go check out the hero's call board. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so our options are, uh, from the board at least, Blasted Lands, Tanaris, or Netherstorm. Um, I'm not really sure where this is at. Area 52. I think that might be Outland. That looks like Outland to me, but I could be wrong. Tanaris might be interested interesting to I don't know all these places seem kind of far away to me let's look at our map um, we are currently on Eastern Kingdoms we could go to Kalimdor we could even go to Northrend or Outland uh, but I like I said I wanted to I want to stick to Azeroth if we can uh, Western and Eastern Plaguelands might be kind of cool all right, I've made my decision. We are gonna actually just head back to Ashenvale. Um, and I'll tell you why. I have never really done Ashenvale in its entirety. Um, so it might be interesting, interesting to see what that's like. And it's pretty close. We'll be able to get there fast. And I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of quests there. So we'll try and just stick to this continent for now. And we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, so we made it uh, to Ordinil, or Orindel's Retreat <laughs> here in Ashenvale, uh, currently right on the border between Darkshore and Ashenvale. I also noticed our music wasn't on, so I went ahead and turned that on as well. Um, but yeah, we have a, a quest to turn in and a quest to pick up. So we need to talk to Sentinel Shiela. Good to see a new face around here. The forest crawls with Horde, but my assignment requires that I keep this outpost safe. I could really use someone who might be up for a good fight. Good Evanar and the other apprentices may not be much use in battle, but you look like you can more than hold your own. The Horde scum across the road to the east at Bothron's Haunt. Bothron's Haunt. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible with these names, guys need to be taught a lesson. Their new warlord, Garrosh Hellscream, has them up to no good. Feel like teaching them a, a thing or two? I'd come with you, but my assignment is to stay here and protect Ordinal's apprentices. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Kill any ten horde at Bothron's haunt. I am listening. There's a plant that grows in the old ruins of Bothron's haunt, across the road to the east. The plant is called Bathron's hair and is known to cure ailments of the spirit. Now the horde are there harvesting the plant for their own evil schemes. There is a sick child in Astronar, and we we believe her illness is more than just physical. I promised my master that I would help seek a cure, but I am no fighter. Will you go to Bathron's haunt and gather the plants? Collect eight Bathron's hair. 
All right, we can help you out with that, I guess. So I'm excited to jump back into Feral, guys. This is, uh, I was watching one of my older videos and it just, it, it, you, you guys are totally right. It, it, it looked way more satisfying to play and quite honestly it was, so. Let's go ahead and do this. We get an increased speed too in cat form, so that's pretty nice. All right, we gotta kill 10 of these guys. I gotta remember how to play this. All right, let's let's read these again. So shred, shred the target, causing. Hold on, let me let me finish this guy off real quick. Back at it again with the slap. All right, shred, shred the target, causing 110 physical damage to the target. Deals 20% increased damage against bleeding targets. So we definitely want to get our bleeds on first if this is going to deal an additional 20%. Uh, while Stealth Shred deals 60% increased damage, has doubled the chance to critically strike and generates one additional combo point. So we get an extra bonus if we're Stealth while we use this. So if we're Stealth, we probably want to open with this, I would imagine. Um, rake, rake the target for 27 bleed damage and an additional 196 bleed damage over 15 seconds. While stealth, Rake will also stun the target for four seconds and deal 60% increased damage. Okay. Oh, most of our stats or our spells probably give us increased, um, increased effects if we're stealthed. Ferocious Bite is a finishing move that causes physical damage per combo point and consumes up to 25 additional energy. Um, and Rip is also a finishing move that causes the target to bleed. Uh, and Thrash is obviously some sort of AoE. Um, so, yeah, what it looks like to me is we want to... We probably want to, like, if we're not stealth, we probably want to open with Rake. And then just start building combo points with Shred as, as a kind of a filler. Get a rip on him. Back to spam and Shred. Ferocious Bite. So we're kind of bouncing, bouncing around. That's kind of what it seems like we need to be doing. So we're just going to jump around. We're going to collect uh, six more of these, uh, these hairs and... Kill a few more of these guys. All right, it looks like we're pretty much done. We just need to collect one more of these hairs. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this a little bit. I got a bunch of things chasing us right now. But it's okay, because we're a deer. Have you gathered the Bathron's hair? Yes, I have. Ah, you have the hair. This is good. This is a good first step. There are other ingredients that we will need, but the hair of the fallen ancient could well be the most important. I only hope that whatever the Forsaken are devising from the plant will not be turned into a weapon. We simply do not have the numbers to remove them right now, especially with Maestra's post under attack. Quickly, J Shift. I will put the Bathron's hair into this bag, but you must deliver it to my master, Orindil Bro Broadleaf. You will find him at Maestra's post, just south down the road on the left. But beware, we've re received reports that the post is under attack from the Horde. The Sentinel eyes you appreciatively for a moment. A job well done, Druid. If you're any indication of the quality of the Night Elf Adventures, we should be or we're going to be seeing more of, we should have the war against the orcs and their horde taken care of faster than expected. I have a friend who can make good use of particular talents. His name is Talon, <laughs> and he's an archaeologist of sorts. Recently, he's been fascinated with the upheaval of the old city of Zorum and its treasures. If you're willing to lend him a hand, you can find him at the Black Fathom camp down the path to the west. Good luck, all right, so a couple quests there. There is one more over here. I want to make sure we grab that before we head out. These creatures, these so-called horde, they have cut me down in my prime and they are harvesting my hair for the evil plans. Will you help me put an end to it, little night elf? I have overheard their herbalist speaking of something called wildfire upon their table across the way. If you were to take the bottle of this unnatural stuff and throw it at my corpse to the northeast, it would burn and no more of my hair will grow here. 
I'm already dead and it's a small price to pay to stop them. Obtain a bottle of wildfire and throw it at Bathurin's corpse to burn it. Where's his corpse? I would imagine over here where this objective is telling me to go. I've made a mistake. I've made a terrible mistake. Oh my god, just leave me alone, man. I feel like I'm taking a, a bunch of damage. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if I'm doing something wrong. I mean, we have bark skin, but it's a one minute cooldown, so it's not like we'd be using that every pull. Okay, I have no idea where, where we grab the... What is it that we need? Bottle of wildfire. Where do we get the wildfire? I have no idea where we get this thing. Okay, after rereading the quest, it sounds like... Um, it's on a table. On a table somewhere over here by the cultists. Jeez, man, these guys... These guys are no joke. They're kind of messing me up a little. And they spawn back really fast. Ah, I see it. It's over here. So we're gonna have to kill our way into this one as well. All right, let's grab this uh, potion of wildfire. Excellent. And then let's head over here. Oh, there's, there's guys everywhere. Jesus. Let's heal back up. And let's use this thing. Done. Let's get the hell out of here. You have helped me to return to the ground, J-Shift. Now my hair will cease to sprout for these creatures. Better yet, I will be regrown all, all the sooner. Let's head west. And we'll go grab this quest and see if this opens up any more for us. Yep, it looks like there's some sort of camp here. A flight path, so we definitely want to grab that. Let's talk to Talon. Hello, Druid. What's that? You say that Shyella sent you? The Night Elf briskly rubs his nimble hands together. Very well, let's get started. May the stars guide you. I would charge you with the task, Druid. I was on my boat, skimming over the submerged ruins of Zoram, when Naga attacked me. Surging from the water and tearing at me with their claws, I fled and the rest, as they say, is history. I am an archaeologist of sorts and I am attempting to recover artifacts of the lost city. Will you head out onto Zoram Strand to the southwest and recover any ancient statutes you come across? They are the reason I have braved the dangers of the Zoram Strand. There is evil lurking on the coast to the west. The Zoram Strand is the resting place of the doomed city of Zoram. Destroyed during the sundering and submerged beneath the seas, and has been lost to the Night Elves for ages, lost and nearly forgotten. Now the Naga have returned, and for what reason we do not know. But reason matters little. We must slay these fiends and throw them back to the depths. Farewell. Be careful. Although our position is exposed, we are safe compared to our friends inside Black Fathom Deeps. They stand mere feet away from the most deadly Twilight's hammer forces in the area. Speak with Sentinel Alwyn and give them the aid they, are, they desperately need. Good luck, so it looks like those two quests are for Black Fathom Deeps. I'm going to double check that. At least one of them is. Let's go ahead and do what we can over here. And then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about running Black Fathom Deeps. Maybe we'll do that closer to the end of the zone. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We got some Naga to kill though. Yeah, I'm definitely playing this all wrong. Oh, nice. We just hit level 27. It's a perfect time to level up. So we got to kill 15 of these guys. That's insane. All right, so we got 5 out of 10 on the ancient statutes. And then we are almost done with... Or, yeah, no, 12 out of 15 for the Naga. So we're almost done with it. Uh, but I got to be honest with you guys. I'm just not liking Feral. I, I really want to like it. 
but I just, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I think I'm gonna switch back to balance. I, to be honest, I don't really like balance either, but I'm, I'm hoping I can get the hang of it. I don't know, guys. I don't really know what to do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and give balance another shot just because it's been so long since I played this character, and if I absolutely can't stand it, we'll switch back to feral and 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 hope in hopes that we uh, we get the hang of it. But let's give it, let's give this another go. Yeah, that, I just feel like that's just so much easier. <laughs> I, I feel like we, we do way more damage. Alright, these this is proccing. Yeah. Yeah, guys, that, that's the play. Come on. Are you kidding me? Look how much less damage I'm taking. Alright, that's 10 out of 10 on the statue, so let's go ahead and head back. Let's turn these couple quests in. And see where we're off to next. Very well done. Your actions in the Zorm Strand against the Naga are commendable. I know your feat was not easily accomplished, for the strength and gill of the Naga is well known for the Night Elves. We know we know this, for we share history with them. The Naga are cursed highborn Night Elves. Ten thousand years ago, Queen Najara made a pact of desperation with the old gods to save her surviving people from a watery grave. The Naga are the result of the pact. Del How may I help? Have you found my statutes? Be careful. That's quite a few that you have found, thank you. The old city of Zorum holds many secrets, and these statues may may be the key to many of them. I fear the ancient statues secret will remain forever hidden unless you find the key to their ancient locks. The key is a ring, the Ring of Zoram. It belonged to the rulers of the city before the waves of Sundering drowned it. For years the ring was lost, but the Naga have recently found it. Their leader, Ruzel, dwells on her isle on the northern edge of the Zoram Strand. Please, retrieve the ring for me. I know this quest. We've done this quest many of times in Classic. At least I have. I don't think we've done it on the channel, but I've done this quest a lot. Alright, we made it. The mob density here is absolutely nuts. I feel like this is there's way more mobs than there are in Classic. Look at all these guys. It's incredible. I made a nice little pathway up to her. <laughs> Cleared a path anyway. I'm almost tempted to take these guys out too, just in case, you know, things go south. Um, let's, let's take out a couple more. I don't think it's going to hurt us. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm enjoying this a lot. This is a lot easier to to understand. <laughs> okay, Rizal, let's She's kind of messing me up here. Let's entangling roots her. Let's get some distance. Throw a regrowth on. She like, she's OP guys. <laughs> Getting manhandled. All right, we got her somehow, some way. We actually managed to kill her. Ah, let's get the hell out of here too. All right, we made it back to Talon. Uh, I did notice we have a talent point. Um, not really sure where we're gonna put that. Um, Astral Smolder looks pretty good. Your critical strikes from Starfire and Wrath cause the target to languish for an additional 40% of your spell's damage over 6 seconds. Uh, we could take Celestial Bodies, Align, maintaining both Eclipses and granting 10% haste for 20 seconds. Or Solar equip Eclipse increases the damage of Wrath by an additional 20%. Mm. I'm gonna take- I'm gonna take this, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Astral Smolder. It seems like it's uh it's the better option. You found the ring. Thank you. Please take this as payment and know that your deeds today will remain forever in my memory. May the stars guide you. 
I hope so, because we almost died. We almost uh, sacrificed ourselves to kill her. So you're welcome, Talon. Good luck. All right, Maestra's post looks a little uh, lo looks a little intense. Uh, there's bombs being thrown at us, fires everywhere, and uh, I'm I'm a bit scared. I'm gonna be honest. Jesus! Watch where you're throwing that thing, man. You're a brave one to come here given the circumstances. What business have you, stranger? So, Ebonar was successful. Actually, more to the point, you were successful. I cannot thank you enough, Druid, but there is more than that must be done to the leaves before they will serve as a curative for what ails the child, Relara. The concoction is not quite complete. It must be bathed within the light of the Elune before we can even think about giving it to the child. There is a known location just to the west of Lake Falathem, where the goddess's moonlight always touches down, day or night. Please, I implore you for the sake of Rilara, take the concoction and bathe it in Elune's radiance. But beware, strange things have befallen the area of the lake, and I fear that it is no longer safe to go there. A friend of mine from Astronar, Ran, Wolfrunner, asked me to send a scout west to Lake Falathem. Tyronis left days ago, just before the Horde attacked. He was searching for an item he thought he could slow the Firbolg attack on our end, or on our people, a rod created by a now dead evil wizard. Before he left, he mentioned a gem for the rod. Unfortunately, we know that the lake has been invaded by some evil force. Please, find my friend. The Firbolg have descended from the heights and overrun the ruins of or Ordil Aran to the north. I believe they did so because they, are, they were attracted to what the dead cultists there uncovered. Three moonstones. Laladris Moon River will, con will counsel you to deal with the Firbolg in, more, in a more direct manner. And I will not... I will not gainsay her, but I would ask that you go to the ruins and deactivate the moonstones. Um, I, it's, it's hard to focus with getting attacked. What brings you here? The moon priestess has a plan to make sure that no further furbolg descend upon us from the highlands. I am more concerned with those that are already at the ruins, some of, some of which are mis- are massing just outside of the post. Distasteful as it may be, I must ask that you head north into the ruins of Ord Ordil Aran and slay the Firbolg. We cannot fight on two fronts. Thank you, Druid. Looks like there's one more quest somewhere to pick up. Oh, Sentinel Oranea. I certainly hope that you're here to help, Druid. The situation is as dire as it appears. To put it quite simply, we are losing. My girls and I are the last line of defense against the Horde, but we're not going to get out of this one without taking the fight to them. Up for a challenge? I have a small squad of sentinels that I can loan to you. Get them close and I'm certain that their magic arrows can destroy those wreckers and invaders. Speak to me again if you need replacements. Okay. So it looks like this is the first quest we're doing. Jeez Louise. Um, and we're killing horde invaders, I guess? Let's give this a go. This looks hard. I guess it's not so bad. Yeah, we're nuking him. Should be the last one here. And we got it. I'd received a report about you from some of my scouts in the forest, but I had no idea how capable you are. 
Thank you. With what you've just accomplished, the tide has turned. I have no doubt now that we'll be able to route them, or now that we'll route, route them by the end of the day. <laughs> As one of the scouts just gets absolutely nuked. There were two humans here, Firo Ironhand and Del Delgren the Purifier. They were members of a holy organization known as the Argent Dawn. Both fell defending the post when they were when the horde first attacked. I'm gonna loan you my magical cloak. It was a gift from Cenarius that allows me to move invisibly. Find both of their corpses and retrieve Fur Furo's hammer and Delgren's prayer book. Furo's corpse is in the courtyard and Delgren's is atop the tower. Beware, the warlock up there will be able to see you. Um, what? So this tower, I would imagine. And where's the courtyard? Oh, here he is, right here. This must be Firo. Let's grab his hammer. And we're gonna have to kill our way up there. There's just no... No way around that. Actually, there is. Let's go stealth. Oh, that's that's just awesome. Being able to do that. It's fantastic. Um, we are going to have to kill this warlock, though. So let's just buckle up and uh, get ready for the ride. Oh, he was cake. He was super easy. I do not look forward to writing the letter to the Argent Dawn Embassy in Darnassus. At least we'll be able to send their most prized possessions back for their loved ones. I cannot thank you enough for your courage. Please accept this on behalf of the post. And we do get some new gloves, that's pretty nice. Get those equipped. And uh, we got a few more quests to do. Let's do the ones uh, right here north. We're gonna kill 10 Furbolgs and uh, deactivate some some Moonstones, I guess? Something that I've noticed is we don't seem to be running out of mana ever. Which is kind of nice. So we don't really have to worry about it at all. Okay, so apparently we can use Regrowth in uh, Moonkin form, but we can't use Rejuvenation. So we'll have to keep that in mind because Rejuve's popping us out of uh, Boomy. Alright, that's the green stone deactivated. Let's go ahead and keep killing. We got a few more to do and we'll get the rest of these stones as well. Alright, this should be the last one we need. We killed all the fur bulbs we need as well. Deactivate that guy. And we'll head back to turn in. Make sure I loot everything. We're getting a good amount of linen cloth, and we're getting um, we're getting uh, wool cloth as well. And it looks like we already have mail from the auction house, so uh, our stuff must have sold at least something. That's pretty cool. I'll have to go back and check. I wonder if there's a mailbox somewhere close. We are in your debt, druid. If I know anything about the furbolg, they do not like their noses bloodied. It won't be long before they tuck tail and return to their village. Thank you. With the Moonstones of Ordil Aran deactivated, we should not need to worry about any further incursions of Furbolg here. However, my scouts have returned with the disturbing news from the Furbolg village. There is an imminent danger massing there. I wonder, might I entice you to carry a warning to Astronar for me? Well, conveniently, I think we're, we're headed there next, aren't we? Well, not quite, but we're getting there. Unless this is... A is this Astronar? I think that, no, down here is Astronar. I don't know, man. I'm all turned around. <laughs> so we just leveled up. Uh, but I wanted to look at, I wanted to, us to look at this. There's a bunch of tentacles growing out of the ground. This is uh, pretty interesting. Hopefully we don't have to fight them. 
We do not. That's nice. Taronis' body lie broken atop the small rise next to the keeper. Deep slashes crisscross his corpse. He's got like flowers grown out of him. Interesting. Very interesting. As you rummage through Taronis' belongings, you find a water damaged journal. Quickly flipping through the last legible pages, you read that Taronis makes mention of finding the gem, but then of having lost it in the Falatham area. The only thing left to do is find it. Perhaps the tendrils have it. These tendrils? Yeah, so we do have to kill him. I knew it. Nature is restless. When I sense these things rising from below, I came to put them back down. I found the corpses of your friend and dragged him as far as I could before one of the fetlocks was broken. It is all that I can do to hold off these foul tendrils. There's one thing, or there's one that controls the tendrils and, I'm, and eyes. It calls itself Harbringer Aphotic. I'm sure that you'll have heard it yelling from the south. The Harbringer stands out of range of my magic, but you could get to him if you dare. Looks like we get some uh, boots out of it. Until we next meet. So let's just start killing some tendrils, I guess. They don't want the smoke. Alright, we just got the glowing gem. So we don't have to kill any more of those, but we do have to kill him. Harbringer Aphotic. He looks pretty badass. Pretty cool looking. Looks like something out of like Stranger Things. <laughs> Looks like some sort of alien. All right. And um, do we have shoulder pads on? Yeah, we do have shoulder pads. I was gonna say we. We also pulled a uh, a green cloak. From uh, off one of the tendrils, so we'll check that out. That looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're we're literally wearing the same shoulder pads that just dropped for us. So, guess we can skip on that. Um, and we got to do something over here as well. The bathed concoction. We have to throw it. Soak soak in the light of a loon at Lake Falathem. Are we in, we're not in the light? Okay, now we're in the light. Alright. Concoction is bathed. With the depth of the Harbringer, I can begin to cleanse the lake. You have my deepest thanks. I mourn the loss of your friend, but know that his remains will fuel the rec reclamation of the forest hereabouts. Good luck. Give me them boots. Alright, Orin Orindil. Broadleaf. <laughs> Did you have any trouble getting to the light of a loon at Lake Falathen? With the concoction blessed by the light of a loon, it should be ready to, for delivery to Astronar. There is no time to waste. J Shift. Now that it has been bathed in a loon's blessed light, I believe that the concoction will help the afflicted child. Please take it to Astronar and give it to the child's parents. Pel Pelteros White Moon? To reach Astronar, follow the road south and then east. However, if you'd like to get there more swiftly, which we definitely do, speak with Sentinel Ivana. Ah, welcome back. This is terrible. Taronis is dead? The time for mourning will come, but for now we must focus our efforts. I will send some of the Sentinels to recover Taronis' body and to assist the Keeper. You have the gem that Taronis was seeking? It must be delivered to Astronaut. And we get some new shoulders out of this with actual stats on them. And they rolled epic for us. Would you look at that? Sick. What do these look like? Okay, they look very similar. Just different color. But I can dig it. I would ask you to deliver the gem directly to Rain Wolf Runner. Last I heard, she was still in Astronaut to the southeast. 
at least the road between here and there is still relatively safe, so it should be simple. It'd be a, be a simple matter of following it there. Of course, if you'd rather, I believe that Sentinel Ivana would be willing to loan you one of her night sabers to swiftly make the trip. Whatever you choose, good health to you. May our paths cross again soon. So we have like a bunch of quests that are that's taken us to Astronar. Um, there is one more quest out here somewhere. Oh, Sentinel Ivana. You have been of great assistance to us. Without you, we would have been wiped out by now. It would be my pleasure to offer you one of my night sabers any time to ride to Astronar up into the southeast. I'm sure that you have very important business to attend to there. I would consider it great kindness if you would speak with my sister Sentinel Laura when you arrive to tell her that I'm well. Just speak to me again when you're ready to go, and any time that you need a ride it is yours. Nice. Sentinel, I would like to ride one of your night sabers to Astronar. Oh, I love it. It just takes takes us right there. Alright, we made it. We do have another talent. Looks like it's a druid talent point. Um, we can take Soothe. Let's see. Like, what are we struggling with? We're, we're not really struggling with anything. Cyclone. I feel like we definitely want to take Cyclone. Tosses the enemy target into the air, disorienting them, but making them invulnerable for up to six seconds. Oh, it makes them invulnerable. Let's go with the astral influence or increase the range of all our abilities by three yards. I feel like Cyclone would be good, but if we can't hit him, might as well stick to entangling roots. Ivana is alive? I feared that she might be dead when we heard about the attack on Maestra's post. As you can see, we have our hands full with the horde here as well. You have given me the greatest gift by letting me know she is well. Any time that you wish to ride one of my night sabers back to Maestra's post, it is yours. Let's definitely go ahead and grab the flight path as well. I am Rain Wolfrunner. Who might you be? Tyronis is dead? The lady weeps softly for the loss of her friend and then composes herself after a moment. We must see it that his sacrifice was not in vain. Are you willing to see this through, Druid? Very well. Allow me some time to think about how we should proceed. I will know show early. Good luck, friend. Directly to the north of Astronar are the Thistlefur Forbulk. My scouts report that their numbers have grown greatly over the past few months. If they grow too great, they may find the courage to attack Astronar directly. Go to the Thistlefur village and kill as many of their kind as you can. I shall remain here in Astronar and await word from you. A loon be with you, Druid. I must apologize, for I have no time to speak, my child. Relera is deathly ill. This is from Orindil. His skill with herbs and healing is great. This cure gives me hope, when before I had little. Here you are, Relara. Take this. Are you sick? You look pretty sick. It's like some sort of roleplay scenario. Looks like our cure worked. Apparently she's awake. I'd hope Orindil's cure would save Rilara, but I fear it only slowed the disease running through her. We must find more powerful medicine. Thankfully, Orindil spoke to me of the further remedies should his first one fail. Alun's tear is a type of stone that rests in only one place, the remains of Iris Lake. Destroyed by the eruption of Thunder Peak northeast of Astronar, Orindale said the stone will wash away corruption. Please, Jayshif, bring me Alun's tear and pray it will end my child's sickness. I'll try, man. I'll give it my best my best shot. Um, I think there was a couple more quests to pick up down here. Oh, real quick before we forget, let's check our mail. Yeah, it looks like uh, our Peace Bloom, our Briar Thorn, our Silver Leaf, and our Earth Root all sold. 10 gold, 136 gold, 3 gold, and 14 gold. Nice. Under the supervision of Architect Nemos and Vindica Vindicator Vedar, my people are revitalizing an old Night Elf outpost in the eastern part of Ashenvale. The task of building won't be easy, J-Shift, for the challenges and enemies they face are many. I know Architect Nemos and his compatriots 
at Forest Song would appreciate any help they can get, and he has asked me to send any interested men his way. Speak to me again and I will arrange for fast transport for you to their location. Please lend me your Alec to ride to Forest Song. Where is Forest Song? Is it clear over here? I don't know if I want to do that yet. Druid, Astronar is burning. Quickly, take this bucket of water and put out the fires before there's nothing left. Extinguish 15 fires. Okay, well this should be easy to do. Just yeet some buckets on top of these, on the uh, top of the fires. Alright, we just need one more of these. We should be set. Got it. Thank you. Now it's time to deal with the horde. The fires are mostly contained, but we have to do something about these wind riders. Quick, you have to jump in one of the one of our glaive throwers and return fire. Use an astronaut thrower to shoot down 15 Hellscream Hellions and their watch wind riders. One of these guys, it looks like. Can't do it while shapeshift. Okay, so we can actually drive this thing. Uh, these are the things we have to kill, I believe. Fifteen of them? They move very, very slow. Alright, last one. It took a minute, just because this thing is so slow. Luckily, they respawn pretty fast, but still, damn. We're saved. You shot down enough of them that we should be able to handle the rest. I cannot thank you enough. Alright, we got a new chest piece out of it, too. Alright. Just those few pieces of gear made us look a, a lot different. What's next? Thistlefur Village Furbolgs. Alright, let's uh let's go take care of that too. I'm gonna kill 15. Why is it always 15? I'm not sure what's up with that. Alright, so what I'm gonna actually do is I am gonna take Cyclone. Because I'm noticing that we're just taking hits to the face a lot. So this will give us an extra CC to kind of get some distance. Um, I think it'll help us out, so I think that was a that, that was a bad call on my part to take the other one. Oh, we just picked something us else up that gave us a quest. As you search through the belongings of the dead furbolg lying before you, a small charm, very obviously created by trolls, spills out onto the ground. Touching the charm, you immediately get a sense that something is not right about the wood. A feeling of unease, of corruption, permeates the object. Wrapping, wrapping it in some spare cloth, you put it in your pack and resolve to show it to Ray and Wolf run, Runner when you next find yourself an astronaut. Alright, this should be the last one we need. 14 out of 15. These, uh, these, uh, totems that these shamans have are... They hurt. <laughs> they do some damage. All right, that was it. Uh, we have one more quest to get the Aloons tier, so we're gonna head that direction and grab that before we head back to town. Okay, from what I remember about this quest in Classic, it was, um, this used to be a lake. You'd have to swim across the lake to grab the tier, and now it's just a, a, a forest on fire. All right, very, very different, but um, looks like it's just right here. We got it. Let's head back to Astronar. What's troubling you, Druid? A troll charm? What are the Furbolg doing with the, such a thing? You're right. It does have a feeling of corruption about it. Even I can sense that. There's something, someone here who might be able to help. Boom, and that's level 29, guys. We are almost 30. Pretty awesome. The man standing right across from me is known as... I, I'm not gonna even try on that one. Something Pilgrim. He's one of the Worgen. He and his sister come to Astronar not long ago looking for a place to live. From what little I've been able to been able to glean, he's interested in trying to help the Earthen Ring with the Cataclysm. His sister is even more powerful. 
She's gone east to try and help the shaman deal with the volcano. Perhaps he can help. Take the charm over to him and see what he thinks. Well done. We are under the constant threat from the Furbolg. Hopefully this will keep them at bay for a bit longer. The Worgen gives you a blank look as you walk up to him. Looking down at the wooden carving in your extended hand, the Worgen reaches out to take it. The Furbolg co covet that which does not belong to them. Hef Hefe... I don't know. I can't. I can't do it, guys. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Turns the charm over in his hand and then discards it. There's a property to the carving that slowly corrupts those that aren't trolls. As I understand it, the Furbolg have done this sort of thing before. Some never learn. No doubt they hoard most of the charms in the Thistlefur hold above their village to the north. Collect eight troll charms. Alright, so it looks like we're heading back north. There's also a quest that we forgot west. Uh, we might want to run back and grab that. But let's turn in this other one down here. J-Shift, did you find the remains of the lake? Do you have the tear? Oh, you found it. Odd. It looks tarnished. Somehow, I will place the tear in a stew and pray that it will cure. Thank you. Let's see what happens. Eat this, my daughter. It will help you feel better. There you go. It didn't work. Well, dude, she didn't eat it. She's She didn't move. How do you know it didn't work if she didn't even touch it yet? A sorrowful and resigned expression upon his face. Pelturus removes the tear from the soup and gently washes it. The eruption of Thunder Peak must have affected it in some way. You must take the tear to the Moonwell of Purity, which still lies intact, protected by the goddess power at the southeast base of the volcano. There you will wash it in the sacred waters of Elune. What happens beyond that, I cannot say. I fear for my daughter's life. It is in your hands now, J-Shift. Ah, there you are, J-Shift. I've poured over the notes Taronis has made, and it sounds like your next course of action is to find the other pieces of Dortol's rod. I would start by he heading east along the road to Rainwood Tower. A dryad there named Shaldren is better suited to guide you. Seek her out. Keep the gem with, gem with you. Shaldren will need it if it's if she's to help you recreate the recreate the rod. Okay, I'm gonna set our hearthstone here as well. Just in case we start venturing further out, we can make our lives a bit easier. We have more mail from the auction house, so cloth or something must have sold. Uh, swift thistle for 22 gold nice I'll take it do a quick gear check make sure we're not missing anything don't think we are let's sell My goods are of the highest quality. let's fender all of this we also have a talent point oh, let's save the cloth because we might be able to sell that on the auction house Put all our cloth up here for now. More potions. I don't think we're going to need these mana potions. I don't think we're really going to need the health potions either. I'm just going to sell those. And the water. And all of these are quest items. Cool. Keeping it pretty clear. Alright, um... You know what? I think we're probably just going to go ahead and call the episode here, guys. I think we've done enough for this episode. Um, yeah. I think, uh, I think it's a good place to stop. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, hopefully you guys are still enjoying this series. I know it's been some time since I put out a, an episode of this, but um, we'll jump back into it. We'll keep things going. Um, you know... I, I, I'd be, you know, we'll, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I don't know the frequency 
of the series of this uh, of this of of the series because it it just takes a lot to edit. Uh, a lot more goes into this than the uh, than the other series I have going on this channel. So um, we'll see. Play it by ear. But anyway, guys, you have a great rest of your morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you guys. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.